What's up, what's up? Namaste, thank you for coming, clicking on the channel. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, this is a reading for my Taurus. How are you? Favorite bull? My favorite athletes? Baby mama's Taurus. to run out. You're connecting with <coughs> your energy there. Taurus. So I'm going to get an animal card. Any spirits? This is this from my Taurus. Change. It's a lot of creativity coming out. Uh, yeah, look at that magic. Magic. You guys are. Feeling very, very, everyone's like coming into their fucking power. It's crazy. There's like this, there is definitely this year. Yeah, look at that. Hummingbirds. So, the interesting thing about hummingbirds is that they don't fly backwards. No, sorry. They're the only bird that can fly backwards. Hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly backwards. I feel like there's this awakening, there's this awakening happening inside of you, Taurus, that this knowing, this knowing of how powerful you are, where you want to be, and like this grounding, like, uh, unicorns are very magical, and there's this color, this brightness, like, this earth and, uh, sorry, air and spirit. signs around you, air signs, sorry, you've got water signs and air signs around you. Wow, yeah, look at, that. look at that. So the golden egg and the unicorn, so I'm, I'm going to read these two cards because they're like, seriously. So the unicorn, like I feel like there's a new birth, like a new beginning happening for um, my Taurus. So spirit, spirit, for the unicorn. And they go from chakras too, like it's crazy. There's the unicorn, do the first one. So the phoenix is the first one, and the sea serpent, and the dragon balances the ego, then the golden egg, the heart chakra, so you got that one as well, so I feel like there's some sort of Okay, so the unicorn represents reconnecting to higher wisdom or divinity. It's difficult to see here. Yeah. It's difficult to see here or think of a unicorn without immediately questioning if it's real. They were real. Did they ever exist? They did. Perhaps long, long, long ago. Long, long, long ago they did. The mind answers maybe, or could it be, or no way. This is very contemplation, explains our relationship with divinity and, and encapsulates our weaving belief, our wavering belief in the unicorn. Believe they were real, guys. 
we wonder what divinity is. We wonder where our intuition comes from. And if we can really trust it, we think about a higher power, our mind that hesitates between yes or no, and maybe is it male or female? Does it have a name? Is it just a feeling? The unicorn card appears and wakes us up. Wow. I feel like, yeah, she's definitely going through an awakening to us. Look at that. Wow, so fucking powerful. Look at this. And then finish with the golden egg. Okay, let me fucking read this. Rabbit. Time to stop and look. Alf, yeah, there's heaps of power. There's power everywhere here. <laughs> the mind's eye knows there is something beyond our day-to-day -day lives, a deeper dimension to our experiences. The mind's eye reaches and reaches and reaches out to grasp. something more you are the unicorn and you have begun your quest for answers oh wow that was powerful the unicorn and the sixth chakra it's no surprise the subtle essence of the unicorn card resides at the third eye the exact place from which the unicorn's horn exists this center is called the anya chakra or command center the ancient yogis believed it to be responsible for our intellect, intuition, and deepest wisdom. Some say our two eyes see the past and the present, while this third eye peers into the future. <laughs> Thin point. That. <coughs> Read the golden egg. So that's the sixth chakra. We got the cosmic egg. So the golden egg was two back. Message at the center of the heart, the unstruck sound. So this is going to do a lot with heart and third eye for us. Within the golden egg lives a precious sound. Deep within the sound resides a message. The sound cannot be heard, nor the message discerned, until we retreat from the noise of the modern day life. The magical essence of the golden egg needs warm, quiet, and time to unfold. No rushing, pushing, or grasping. Finding a place of deep and restful ease, perhaps through yoga, yoga nidra, or meditation. So maybe you need to do some yoga or meditation. If you do not have a meditation practice, take some time for introspection or contemplation. When the mind begins to settle and breathe and breath is calm, ask the question that weighs heaviest on your heart, staying open to any response you hear. Engaging with the energy of the golden egg is advanced practice. It requires becoming intimate with our very essence and comfortable and vulnerability. When a feeling of tenderness or gratitude arises from deep within you, know that you are well on your way. Your chest may swell like you are seeing an old friend that's been away for a long, long, long time. Listen to the message they've been wait wanting to tell you. They've been waiting to tell you. Wow, that's cool. The subtle essence of the golden egg is nestled deep within the heart center at the fourth chakra. This chakra called Anahata is the, is the home of the self, by self or soul. By bringing the mind into this center, we discover a portal to the most intimate and luminous space luminous space it, it it is said our inner guide sits there in deep meditation wow yeah i fuck with that waiting for us anahata translate as the unstruck sound anahata 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 oh it kind of tickles too wow Actually, what are we going to do? What's blocking love for my Taurus? If there's any... Yeah, maybe you're finding your life purpose. You're discovering, you know, aligning with love that leads you to your life purpose. Yeah, look at that. That's cool.
All these cards are pretty good. So my Taurus, I hope. You know it. Use your intuition. Start using your intuition. And listen to your heart. You know, find what's your life purpose. You know what your life purpose is. Go within. There's meditating, yoga. Um, yeah, you look your body. Look at that. Pleasing. Stop trying to please everyone else. When you get your body in alignment and do what, do what makes you happy, abundance will come in. Yeah, be creative. <clears throat> Taurus, these are very creative people. Very grounded. I'm seeing like a lot of rainbow colors. Maybe you guys, are, some of you are artists, like just paint. Yeah, look. I need to balance. Show me one card, one card, one card for my Taurus. Support, love signs, direction, guidance, choice, free will, courage, willpower, change. Yeah, signs, direction, willpower, change. Look at these. these are high colors, look. Love that purple. Be bold and make the first move. Yeah. Be bold. Take the first move. I feel like you're moving towards something. Oh. Sorry, guys. I feel like you're moving towards something. Oh. That's cool. He's moving towards something for sure. Cardinal Moon, be bold, be brave, be bold. One more. Yeah, be brave. Look, energy's gaining momentum. I'm gonna try it. Taurus, sorry, this is like the first one. And you guys have waited. I've done everyone else, I think. Everyone else has been mentioned besides you guys. So let's try this one. Enjoy this deck. Messages from my angels for Taurus. Change, transformation, Azrael, Michael. Thank you. 
this piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. Scorpio, Orion, Azrael. Change, transformation. Thank you, Orion, manifesting your miracles into my world. Wow, you're manifesting right now. Thank you, Azrael, for leading me safely through this change. Yeah, look. Holy shit. You're manifesting shit. Whenever something comes through and it, it helps you, count your blessings. Count your blessings and thank, thank, the, thank the angels. Yeah. You can trust the people around you. Orion. Manifesting miracles. That's cool. That's so cool. Take a step. Take a step back. Thank you, angels, for helping me to step back from what's not serving me. Yeah, well. These cards are cool. All right, one. Here is my. Here's my choice. Need to call upon for help. Love one in heaven. Uh, maybe there's. Maybe there's ancestors, your ancestors. If you've lost someone, Taurus, I'm sorry. Someone recent, maybe passed over. Um, I'm sending a message uh, saying they love you. And just whenever you want to speak it, speak to them, you just speak to them, talk to them. They can hear you, you know. They're guiding you, they're right behind you. There's a loved one guiding you right now. One more, that's lovely. I want one more. Please come out one more for my choice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Honor your feelings, Archangel Haniel. Thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. Yeah, look. Wow, that's beautiful. That's amazing. All right, Taurus. Hope that helps someone. Um, Sorry it took so long to get you guys a reading, but hopefully that message helps someone. Like if they're behind you, they're guiding you. Trust, trust in them. Trust in your, your, your being helped from, from the other side. Like legit, yeah. Help that help someone. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.